News uh, also just crossing from the UK this morning. Regulators there have approved Pfizer's antiviral pill, Paxlovid, uh, as a treatment for people with mild to moderate COVID who are at high risk of severe disease. Uh, shares of Pfizer fractionally higher in the pre-market. Of course, we've been following the progress of that uh, uh, treatment here in the US as well for, for quite some time. Yeah, and, and Wolf, another theme for next year, the extent to which the palliative uh, part of the treatment of COVID is going to replace or otherwise. We have somebody coming up to talk about this later mm -hmm. this morning. Uh, that, that the, the pills and, and, and the treatment of COVID becomes more of a focus for markets, by the way, and for investors than the uh, vaccine for next year. So that's another interesting well, uh, uh, topic for the morning here. Absolutely. And I think, you know, this week as well, with, with various guests we've had uh, on CNBC, the, the, the debate comes back, which is how many people are going to continue to get numerous boosters. We, we've kind of shifted from get vaccinated and one booster will, will keep you going to the, 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 the conversation right. being around multiple, multiple boosters. And, and if it's only Omicron type severity of, of uh, variants that, that are still to come, people may uh, have a lower willingness to continue to get boosters if the requirement is four, five, six, seven. Uh, and we'll see if, if people start to just pivot and the recommendations uh, pivot how, how, how keen they are to do that. And of course, most of us will continue to follow the recommendations in the science. But th there's definitely an apathy that's uh, starting to appear. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.